Hello, my name is Ethan Hain and I'm an LCMS product specialist at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I'll be showing you just how easy it is to change the desolvation line, or inlet capillary, on Shimazu's LCMS 2050 mass spectrometer. You'll see that it's not necessary to vent the instrument in order to change the desolvation line. For this procedure, you can also refer to section 6.3 in the LCMS 2050 instruction manual. You will need the following tools. LCMS 2050 Drawing Tool Replacement Desolvation Line DL Assembly Note, be sure to match the correct DL assembly with your mass spec model. After turning off all gas flows, heaters, and voltages in the Lab Solutions software, remove the LC connection tubing. Unlock and remove the ionization unit. To avoid injury, the temperature of the heated block should be below 50 degrees Celsius before you remove the unit. Carefully remove the corona needle from the heater flange. Then use the drawing tool to remove the heater flange itself. Loosen the knurled screw on the drawing tool and hook it onto the heater flange from the left. Tighten the knurled screw on the drawing tool and pull the heater flange straight out. Once the flange has been removed, loosen the knurled screw on the drawing tool and set the heater flange aside on a clean surface. Pull the DL assembly using your hand. Insert the new DL assembly. It's that easy. Using your hand, mount the heater flange in place. Keep it straight as you push it into place. Make sure to guide the top of the flange into the connector board and insert it all the way in. The heater flange should be attached perpendicularly against the horizontal plane. Place the corona needle back into place on the heater flange. Reattach the ionization unit and lock it in place. Reconnect the LC tubing and initiate the heaters, voltages, and gas flows. For more information about Shimazu mass spectrometers, visit us at www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.